Hi. How Hi. are you? Hi, Kaz. Hello, Kaz. Hi, Dexter. Say hi, Sabrina. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching a video about a mean chihuahua today. Oh. One of Caesar, um, Caesar Milan's. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Somebody hired him because the chihuahua was so mean and it reminded me of because you know, he could be mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how are all the other animals? They're good. Mushu was up late again last night. Oh, why? Uh -huh. Was anything wrong? No, it's, it's mating season. So oh. he, he's yeah. very excited. <laughs> that's funny it is funny we finally figured it out that's why he's excited and biting and doing everything oh i have to turn this tv off i forgot my husband is watching the tv in the other room and it's loud i'll be okay. right back okay hello everybody coming in Welcome in, Kaz. It's amazing how she does that, isn't it? Hi, B. Lurt, you're still working? I guess I figured you were off today, too. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Hi, Vanessa. How are you? Oh, you're still working. Well, we won't tell. <laughs> We won't. <laughs> what does your week look like, Kat? This coming week? Yeah, your weekend. Um, um, Easter, probably with my mom. Don't even know for sure. I don't know if she's coming here or not. But we're going to see her uh, one day for lunch next week, too. Oh. Hi, yeah. Lauren. Hi, Bree Gia. Hi, Warren. Hi, Bree. How are you doing? <clears throat> what are you doing for Easter, Sabrina? The only thing I can think of now is just shipping to get that done. But um, I don't know. We'll probably go out or something for, for dinner mm -hmm. for Easter. Cool. I don't. I don't feel like making a big dinner, but I don't, who knows, we might. If we were going back to my mom's, we would. Right. Will your sister be with your mom? I don't know. Or your parents, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Easter. Yeah, happy Easter. Warren, how are your babies? <laughs> can you hear the birds? I can. I was wondering what that was. There's some pretty birds. I love that sound. I do too. I like it a lot. Um, but there's some birds that have recently come into our, our yard. I don't know what they are. They're brown and white. And um, I've never seen them before. Hmm. Oh, I need to pull up the sale on my phone. Oh, I just did that. <laughs> Fiesta as always. <laughs> What's everybody else doing this weekend? And it was cold today. It was was so it? cold here today. Like 30 degrees. Wow. Well, it was colder than that earlier, but it's 30 now. 
and it's supposed to be in the 20s tonight. It's 75 here. And it's all rotten. I understand that. Mine are too. Yep. Mine too. Hi, Steph. Hi, Steph. What's oh, going on? People are coming in slow today. Nice they day. are. Steph, I need to email you. I don't think you know, but I had no power for five days, so I'm catching up on everything. But I got your email. So thank you. What's the necklace that you have on, Kat? It looks pretty. Oh, it's copper and brass. Um, yeah, it's very pretty. I like it. Thank you. It's a little Native American piece. I'm, I'm surrounded right now. <laughs> I know, so am I. Here's a preview. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering what that candlestick is in. Oh, well, here. Oh, wow. That's pretty. Isn't it cool? It is. It's a lot. <laughs> I'm jealous, Warren. 97. It's too hot for me, Warren. Not for me. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> So, Kaz, where are you from? Kaz, you're fuzz, right? Or am I just having a crazy moment? Or is that two different people? Oh, New Yorker. Cool. Okay. Thanks, Steph. Yeah, thank you. I was getting the, the two combined. I was too. Well, just while we were waiting for more to come in, I'm um, just going to go over some rules in case you're not aware. Pretty much like just like anyone else. Um, but we do ship separately. The items that you win today, they do um, not include shipping. Shipping is separate. Uh, I ship from the state of Ohio and Cat ships from the state of Texas. We do mainly offer ups, but some are buy it now, and we will differentiate those in the chat. So, um, so we'll put that in the chat along with the item number, um, the item and the price. Um, if you are putting an offer in on an item and um, you no longer want to put offers in, then we ask that you just type out in the chat so that we know that it's okay to count down. Now we count down by going once, going twice, sold as G1, G2 sold. Hi, Roxana. Hey, Roxy. And then um, if someone comes in while we're putting sold in, at that point, we will stop the countdown, let it play through. And then um, if there's only one person left, then we will at that point count down. But once sold is put in the chat, it's a done deal. We don't open it back up at that point. Um, because shipping is separate and it's not included, we do use pirate ship to get you the cheapest shipping rate possible. Um, we also use 
PayPal to send out invoices. Now, PayPal has been really screwy lately. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people, including myself and Kat, a lot of people aren't getting their invoices through their email. They're not getting notifications. Um, we're not as sellers. Some sellers aren't getting notifications when they're paid. So it's always best to go to your PayPal account if you have not gotten an, an invoice, but you think that you should have. Mm -hmm. And then we just ask that you be respectful and have fun in the chat. Hi, yeah. beautiful. Hi, beautiful. Well, thanks for all for you all being here. We appreciate it. Yeah. We've got 17 in the chat. It's that's a slow day for us, but I'm sure that'll pick up in a little while. And if it doesn't, we are happy that you guys are here. Absolutely. Maybe because it's Easter weekend, people might be traveling and, and stuff. Oh, I forgot about that. A lot of people are traveling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wet hands. She's washing dishes. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you ready to go first this time? Yeah, I sure can. All right. And if you want to say some more about yourself or anything, go right ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, guys, I put a poll up on my community page. If you can please take a second and go vote. Um, I'm asking people what day and time they think would be best for my solo sale. Um, I've, I've decided to change it. So I would love input from everybody. It would really help me out. And what else was I going to say? So, yeah, what Sabrina said about invoices. Um, Sabrina, I sent some reminders today and a couple people paid after I sent that. So I don't know if the reminders are going through. Um, oh. Yeah. Okay. Just so you know. Um, and I'm going to be invoicing. I'm actually going to start this weekend and finish on Monday. Um, so as usual, if anyone has any questions, you can always email me and I can put you at the top of the list. If you want it right away, just let me know. Yeah, same here. I'm, I've gotten a little behind, so I'm playing catch up, um, but I'm getting them done. But if you need yours done, you know, ahead of anyone else's, just shoot me an email. Cool. Okay, great. These are going to start at 16. I have this set of four Ellie Smith basket weave glasses. These are amazing mid-century glasses. They're an amazing size and a beautiful color. Well, Cass, we're glad to have you here. I'm glad that you saw Stuff's calendar. Um, it is, these are six and a half inches tall. My guess would be probably 10 to 12 ounces. These are, you know, pretty big glasses. You know, I never got the notification for the sale. I don't know if I did either. Let me just pull it down. Something's going on with YouTube as well, y'all. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I didn't get a notification either, Brie. And I have the bell done. <laughs> That's true stuff. They might. Mm -hmm. uh, but these are just gorgeous. This blue is such a great color. Um, let me put some, something white behind it to pop it. That's a pretty blue. It is, isn't it? Every time I see blue, I think of Sabrina. <laughs> but these are all in excellent shape. There's no chips or cracks um, on them at all. The pattern is great. You know, if you're clumsy like me, this basket weave here at the bottom is a good thing to grip on. Just throwing that out there. The base is cool, too. It's got these little uh, ridges on it. Really cool. But you get all four for one money. Mm 
And they're just beautiful. You know, I lied. There is one problem with them. They have my fingerprints all over them as well as <laughs> maybe some dust or, or Dexter hair. Okay, I think we're going to pass on these. We'll show them again at the end at the recap. All righty. The next item I have, oh, thanks, Kaz, is this art glass piggy. There are going to be some repeats from what I showed last night, just to let you guys know. Um, this is an amazing pig. Is everybody... Oh, 15, Brie, I'm sorry. He is That's so new. I know. He is so cute, y'all. So it's like a, a teal blue. Um, he is striped. He has an applied tail, but through that tail, you can see the pontal there. Um, he's got little applied ears and eyes. Um, if my research is correct, this is a mid-century piece. It was designed by a Venetian artist, uh, a woman, which I thought was kind of cool. But he, he's just a little chugger. I love the little feet too. And he is about four and a half inches tall and five and a half inches long. His eyes are so cute. <laughs> Rick and I need to go back to the, the pig rescue here. Oh, is that what it's called? The store? Uh, no, there's an actual pig rescue um, oh. out here that we visited and, and donated to. Um, it's called My Pig Filled Life. Um, we got to spend some time with all sorts of pigs. and Oh, that's neat. Mm -hmm. They had a place like that where I used to live in Virginia, but it was, it, it was all livestock animals. Mm -hmm. That's Ricky's cool. rescue. Yeah, I've been to some livestock sanctuaries too. I, I love all the animals, but I think we're going to pass on Mr. Piggy. Put him over here. Then the brass candle holder that I showed a second ago. Um, this one is going to start at 12. I just have the one, uh, but this is a great, great piece. So you've got these cherubs with instruments on the base. It is not marked. This is another piece that I think may be Italian. Um, I don't think it's Indian. Excuse me. They're so cute. Now let me measure it for y'all. It is three and a half inches tall. And about three and a half inches across. If you collect brass, this is a great piece. I don't think I've run across one of these before. I haven't either. Not not with the cherubs on the side. Yeah, I don't think I have either. Be great for Christmas, of course, but I think it's great all year. Let's see. Oh, what yeah. So he's got like a, a little mandolin or something. Can't quite tell what all these instruments are, but it's pretty cool. And here is what it looks like. There is some green candle wax in this that I'm in the process of still getting out, but it, it, it's going to come out. It's taken like five steps so far. <laughs> okay, well, I think we'll pass on this, Bree. Show it at the end. Oh, you know, I didn't even highlight that, I don't think. I'm sorry. But that was that was starting at 12. Yes. And that's a great price for that. That was a lovely piece. Thank you. Okay. All right. I'm going to start with a vase. And this is a stoneware vase. It's going to start at, at $10. It is signed on the bottom. And I don't remember what it's signed. Oh, and I'm going to forget it. 
I didn't write it down. Oh, I think you helped me figure this out. It was um, Ring Quest or Ring. What was that? It was, It's R.I. I kind of remember that, Brie. It's, it's it's signed on the bottom, you mean? Yeah, but it's really hard to make out. And his that's just his signature. It's not because of the piece. Um, it's it's R-I something. Q-U-O-T? Q -U -O -T? Q -U hmm. Ring quite here. Let me show you, but it's it's really hard to make out. <laughs> I've shown this once before, and I'd written it down. I think it's I think it's Ringquist. I think Ringquist. That's how you say it. Yes, I, I think Brie. I'm not sure though. Oh, thanks, Kaz. I love hats. So he is a popular potter and it is completely glazed on the inside. So it's fully usable, no condition issues. Let me measure it. It is just a hair over four inches tall and three and a half inches wide. Hi, Nate. Happy Easter. So it's darker browns throughout the bottom. I love that piece. I loved it the first time you showed it. It's really cool. Yeah, it's it's a nice piece. I like it, but we can't keep it all. We just can't. Hey, Troy. Hi, Troy. How are you? So, and it does have these marks, like scratches in it. Those are intended. And the opening is a good size. I mean, you could put many flowers in it mm -hmm. or succulents. Um, you could put faux flowers in it. But if there's no interest, we can pass on this one. Um, my next one is a jewelry box that I've had for a while. A long time, actually. And this is going to start at 14. I believe it is silver plate. Someone has put the green on the bottom. And this is a really pretty piece. It can be engraved on the front or the back. I never got it engraved. And it has a lot of good detail on it. And I love how the sides go out. Yeah, it's a fantastic piece. Has a nice little finial on top that is similar to a pineapple, but it's not a pineapple. Just has similar designs. Here's the lid. And I've ke always kept this in a cabinet. So it did not get very much patina on it, but there is a little bit, especially on the top of this piece. And then on the inside, it's all of this beautiful, clean red velvet. Gorgeous. So is it like a floral design that's etched on it? It's pretty much leaves. Okay. Yeah, that's cool.
And then on the sides of this here, you have a design as well. So I'll measure this one. It's a nice size. It is five and a half wide or long, four inches from front to back. And with the lid on, it's a little over six inches tall. The shape is so unique. It is. I like it because of the shape. But we'll mm -hmm. pass on that one. And I have choice starting at five, or I'm sorry, starting at six dollars. And these are cross stitch pictures and they've been framed. And they're specifically for the bathroom but you can certainly put them anywhere. Let me measure them first to get that out of the way. They are eight and a quarter by a little over six wide. So she is in the bath with some bubbles. Hmm. She's so cute. There's the little mouse hole <laughs> in the trim. <laughs> what is that on the floor? Just something she's sewing. And then the other one is very similar, but this is the guy. Look at his hat. <laughs> <laughs> Look, and it's nice. This little mouse hole. I think they're really cute. So they're choice at $6. And they are in the wood frame and they do have glass. All right. We're going to pass on that and pull that back over. Okay. Okay. Um, this is going to start at 14, Sabrina. Okay. I have two Mexican pottery fish that I'm going to sell as a set. I, I bought them as a set. They belong together. I'm not quite sure what kind of fish they are. This one, eh, not quite, I don't think he's an angel, but he's really cool. So the colors, colors on these are really vibrant. Um, they are marked. So one is marked AL on the bottom. I'm assuming that's the artist. And this one is LL, just so you can see it. Um, this one has a great face. Look at these lashes. Perfect. Hey, Connie. Hi, Connie. I do cast. I don't have any. I might have some up here. I can look. I might downstairs, but I'd have to go downstairs. There's no damage on either one of these. They're very good. Food. I'm trying to show you all the sides. This one just gets me. I also like this this back tail fin. Um, but we can count down for, for Miss Connie. All right. I'm glad you were here, Connie. I wasn't even thinking. Sold to Connie. Congratulations. Thank you, Connie. Appreciate you so much. Okay. I've got another fish item. This is Royal Copley. And this one has to start at 18, Sabrina. It is eight and a half inches tall. <laughs> Connie. 
Thank you, Connie. Um, this has fish as well. So these are gold or koi. They're probably koi. Um, this base is absolutely beautiful. It does have crazing. Um, let me show you the bottom. There is a lot of crazing on the bottom, but it does say Royal Copley here. Hi, Bonnie. Oh, okay, Kaz. I know I have crosses. I'm looking at a cross right now, but it's a necklace. Um, I, this piece is just amazing. Here is the inside. There is a crack, just so you know. That crack has been there for years. I think it's it's okay. This is just a really old piece. But I love these muted colors. I love how 3D it is. It's just such a beautiful base. It's so pretty. Isn't it pretty? This one was in my personal collection, too. I'm purging, y'all. Not really. Still got a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is four inches in diameter. There's a tap. I forgot about this, but there's a little bit of green on the top of the fish, which is really pretty as well. Gorgeous. Nate, did you see my question? Are you and Katie on tomorrow? Okay. I think we're going to pass on this one. And then my third item is going to be a piece of glass. And this is just going to start at $8, Sabrina. Um, I have this really pretty um, hand-painted piece of pink depression glass. I think this is maybe Cambridge. Um, they did a lot of the hand-painted uh, depression glass pieces. But it's this gorgeous pink satin glass. Oh, I didn't know that, Nate. Darn it. I'm going to be home tomorrow. It's just beautiful. You know what, guys? I don't know if I've ever seen if it glows. Let's find out. Nope. I think this would be beautiful with jewelry in it. Um, There's so many different things you can do with it. I love the handles as well. The handles are a polished glass. They're not satin like the rest of the piece, which I think is really interesting. Okay. Well, we will pass on this and show it again at the recap. That was my third, Sabrina. Kaz, when it's cat's turn up again, I'll get some crosses and see if you like any of those. I didn't have time to grab them when she was coming up on her third item. Now, I showed this the other day, but I had it priced too high. Um, and then I looked it up because I didn't have time to look it up right before the sale. I looked it up. Um, so I'm going to start this at 15. It is a Riesling Cat wine bottle. It does still have its label, which is very easy to come off. And it's from the year 2017. It is the larger one. Uh, let me see. There's two different sizes. And this is the larger one. It is almost, it's a 13 and a quarter inches. Here is his or her face. There's no chips or cracks to the bottle. It's in beautiful condition. And it also has its tail right here. And then it goes up the side. Here's the bottom.
such a good price. Yeah. I think I had it at 22 or something the other day. Mm -hmm. Hi, Thomas. What's up, Tom? But I don't see any interest, so we're going to pass on that. Now I have a $5 buy it now. Okay. Thanks, Kat. Welcome. And it's for this set, and I believe it is... Yes, made in Switzerland. And it's all cotton. But this handkerchief's still in the box. And it still has sticker there and sticker there. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it pretty? Mm -hmm. So if anyone's interested in that, it is a $5 buy it now. And then I have a $12 starting bid. Bonnie would like to get that for five. Oh, thank you so much, Bonnie. Thomas, you need to come set it up. This is made in India in a tray. It is gold tone in the center and then silver tone on the, the trays. You've got two trays, one larger on the bottom and smaller on the top. And it is marked on the bottom, made in India. And it also has some pads on the bottom to protect your surface. So when you're moving it around, you're not scratching your dresser top or whatever you have it on. It is new with tags. And it is made by organization with an S. And I think it just looks great. I love the design of it. I do too. But you could hang rings or bracelets up here. You have the two trays to put jewelry on. And I also love that there's a little lip around the tray mm -hmm. so nothing rolls off and let me measure this it the is beautiful is eight inches across the top tray is smaller at five and a half inches and it measures about nine inches tall And this does come apart, so it, it will ship a lot flatter than this because it does come apart. All right, we will pass on that and slide Cat back over. Oh, you have a bidder. Oh, thank you so much, Cat. Well, I will count you down for that. I love that. Yeah. I, I've i had it for a while because mm -hmm. I was like, do I really want to sell it? <laughs> <laughs> and 
Thanks, Kat. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, Kaz, this may not at all be what you're looking for, which is fine. I just had it right here. Um, but I have this really pretty um, rhinestone cross necklace. Um, this is vintage. That's pretty. Thank you. Hi, Susan. And this starts at 15, Sabrina. Okay. Um, the pendant is two inches. No, it may be longer. Hang on. Thank you, Bonnie. I totally like it. it is three and a half inches so it is a, it's a big pendant um I think it's probably from the 50s if I was to guess um so it has these really cool purple cabochons they're almost like cat's eye here on the sides then it has um different colored rhinestones and then in the center is this beautiful um flower and it has a purple rhinestone in it in the center of the flower. It's really pretty. Um, here is the back. I'll show you the construction. Hey, hey Noel. Good to see you. I love this so much. Yeah, it's, I like it a lot too. It's pretty. It's, thank you. It's not marked, so I'm not quite sure who makes it. Renee, I have extra ears. I could have sent you some. And we can count down from Miss Noel. How are you, Noel? Thank you so much. Sold to Noel. Congratulations. And um, Kaz, I can go look for horses uh, when it's Sabrina's turn. I have some unicorns right here. I don't know if you're interested in that, but they're um, glass. Thank you so much, Noel. Okay. All righty. Well, here's some unicorns right here as well. <laughs> um, this is going to start at 15, Sabrina. I have this vintage uh, stone jewelry box with these two unicorns on it. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to look for the crosses. Sure. So this is made by, I forgot again, Design Gifts. Okay, Cass, no worries. Um, I will show it anyway, but it's this beautiful pink stone. It reminds me of the Incolay stone, but it's not marked that. So it's, it's some sort of stone. But it has uh, this cute mommy baby here. Or dad. Whatever. With this heart. This would be so cute for Mother's Day, I think. It does have a little feet on the bottom. Really, really cute. This is something I would have kept. But I'm trying not to do that. Two inches tall. And three and a half inches wide. It's so cute, y'all. I love the uh, variations in the stone as well. I'm not sure That's if it's pretty. Isn't it pretty? So pretty. Okay. So, oh, that was my second. All right. My third item, let me bend over and get this. It's going to start at 24, Sabrina. Okay. I have this amazing um, Southwestern dish. And it's this covered dish. Southwestern pottery. It is signed by the artist, and I'll, I'll show you it here in a moment. Um, this is from New Mexico. And I'm trying to remember if it's it's not dated. The artist is Stephen K. K. A. Y. E. It's a wonderful, wonderful piece. It's got these beautiful um, pastel colors. There's purples and blues. Um, let me show you piece by piece. It is glazed on the inside. No, it's not. I lied. I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> but it's blue on the inside. 
there is no damage on this piece anywhere. Thanks, Cass. I think so too. That's beautiful. Reminds me of the late 80s, early 90s so much, <laughs> these colors. Um, so it is about a little bit over four inches tall and seven inches wide. I love it. Okay, well, we are going to pass on this one as well. Oh, that's awesome, Kaz. Sabrina is always talking about her succulents. Yeah. <laughs> Sabrina, I'll be right back. Okay, no problem. All right. Let me This is going to be choice starting at 10. And this is for the crosses. I have a metal one. This one is metal. And it's got the Florida Lee in the middle. Sorry, the sun is behind me. Tell me if that's bothering anyone. I can just close that blind more. So am I, Kaz. And you can just hang it right on the loop here. And then you have this one that's got the three-leaf clover. And it says faith all over it. And it's hanger is right there. So I will measure them. This one is 11 and a half by seven and a half. And the metal one is about 12 tall. By almost nine and a half. Thank you, Kaz. Let me highlight your name. So these are the two to choose from. And I will count it down for Kaz. And you want the metal one. That's great. Sold to Kaz, the metal one. Congratulations. And if anyone wants the faith one, just put it in the chat. Let me sit these down. Now I'm going to have to reach for my next item. Let me put this down real quick. Thank you. I have um, choice starting at 10 again. Just going to reach to get this. And it's two sweaters they're both size extra large this one is pretty thin it's like a cardigan but it's 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 pretty thin and it's like sweater material it is blue and it is by karen scott extra large and it's in like new condition.
I'm so sorry, Sabrina. No worries. Here is the front. So you can see that it's it's pretty thin. It's good for the summer evenings or in the fall or spring. So that's choice number one. And if you need measurements, just let me know. This one is new with tags and it buttons. And it's different shades of purple. So the further down, the darker purple, and then it gets lighter as you go up. This one, the maker is M collection, size extra large, 100% cotton. And it is new with tags, your extra thread and button. These were my mom's and they were just stuck in her closet. She hadn't worn them, so she gave them to me to see if anyone else would want them. But if you need measurements, just let me know. I'm happy to measure them for you. And then my last one for this round, let me see, is a laptop bag. And it's going to start at 12. And this is by Vera Bradley. It has no condition issues. It has an adjustable strap. And it has the piece of rubber slash plastic for the shoulder. This is what the front looks like. This is what the back looks like. It does have a zipper. All the zippers are fully functional. This pocket goes all the way down. And then when you open it up, it has three pockets across the bottom. And then your main pocket. And then on the back side, it has pouches two larger pouches that reach all the way the length of the um, bag. And let me find the Bear Bradley. Oh, I just saw it. Where did it go? Oh, right here. The Bear Bradley name tag is on the side, inside of the side of the bag. And then this is the sides. And if anyone needs measurements, just let me know. I'm happy to measure it for you. It's a great bag. Yeah, but it, it and it does fit a large laptop. But we can pass on that and go to Kat. <clears throat> okay, Kaz. So I collect horses too. I think Sabrina does as well. Um, so I didn't get very far, but I do have this horse planter. I don't know if this is something you'd be interested in. This is going to start at 12, Sabrina. Um, it is not marked, but it is a great, great horse. There is. Oh, you said 12? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let me show you the water here. I, I don't know if this is maybe American disc. I'm, I'm really not quite sure. Um, but let me show you it a little bit closer here. There is, like I said, there's a crack um, here. It's, 
it's very stable though. I don't think anything is going to happen to it. It's just an older piece that somebody loved very much. Let me measure it. It is seven and a half inches tall and six and a half inches across. He's a circus pony, I guess. I just noticed that. The colors are great on this one. Here is the back. Isn't it cool? It is cool. I've had it for a while. Just not sure who makes him, but he's a great older piece. Oh, thanks, Kaz. Well, we can count down for Miss Kaz. All right. And Sabrina, got last round, guess what I did? <laughs> what? I only, I only showed two items. Oh, well, you can fix oh. it next time. This okay. time, this round. Okay. I've got two other horses. Um, this one is just going to start at five. I don't know if you'd be interested in this or not, Kaz, but it's a it's a single shaker. I don't have the match to it, um, but it's this bay horse. This is an older Japan piece. And it does have its original stopper. Yeah, making sure I'm holding it up right. <laughs> Apple. Just like a horse head. Almost looks like a, a chess piece in a way. Oh, Bree, this one is five. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Fire me. <laughs> then you need to fire me because I I could have put in your starting bid before I went in the other room. I realized it as I got in there. I was like, why did I do that? That's okay. Look, he's given the side. <laughs> of course, you could use him as a shaker, but he'd just be cute on the shelf, I think, as well. Yeah. He's cute. So he is... He is three inches tall. Kind of three by three. Yeah, of course. This one, this is new, newer. I, it, I think it may be vintage. I'm not sure. These are the only horses I had up here. Um, this one is eight, Kaz, if you're interested. It is uh, this angel on a horse. Trying to see if I don't see any more. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't she pretty? And she's she's resin. Pretty sure. I don't know who makes it. I have no idea. There's just this black mark there. But I love the, the horse's face. I'm glad to know there's another horse collector. I'll I'll keep looking and I'll try to find more Kaz. I I have some, but they're downstairs and I can't get to them right now. Yeah, I tried to go down there. I <laughs> the dog, my dogs were going so crazy. I don't know if you guys could hear them, but they were barking and it, they're very excited about something. Okay, Kaz, no worries. Okay. Um, oh, did you want the, the horse head? Just let me know. It may be a pass too. Okay. How many have I shown? Three. So my last item will be this vintage purse. This teeny tiny little bag. This is going to start at eight, Sabrina. Get this little metal bag. Oh, you are so welcome. I'm always happy to do that when I can. 
Let's see if I can actually open it this time. It's got like this satiny uh, lining in it. Just a cute little bag. If you have the vanity, I love this on a vanity just sitting there. It's true, Thomas. <laughs> he knew I was live, so he was trying not to yell. He's right behind me working. Noelle's envy. Oh, thank you, Noelle. It's a great little bag. We can count down for Noelle. <laughs> Noelle, did you change your, your picture? You did. That's amazing. You did. What have you been working on, Noelle? And thank you so much. And that was, that was it, Brie. That was okay. four. <laughs> Now, my next three are a little different <clears throat> than what I usually show. Okay. Um, I have a boot sweater, new in package. It's by CC. And this is just going to start at $5. If anyone knows CC, they're a great brand. It also has a little metal clip here that says CC. And this is a great color. You can wear these year after year. <laughs> they have little tassels on the side. And I bought this for myself. Um, and then when I was putting them away, I noticed that I have a lot of these. So before I took them out of the package, I'm like, well, I'm going to just see if anyone else would like them instead. But I don't see any interest. So I'm going to pass on those. And one other thing that I do have, I'm going to have to reach for, so I apologize. Mm -hmm. But I had to reach for my last item too. Is this new in package Falls Creek sweater and hat? It's a three piece set. Scarf. It says that it's a three piece knit gift set. And what was the price, Brie? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, eight dollars. Okay. What a deal. Yeah, I looked these up and these are expensive. Cool. <laughs> no, well. And it's super soft. It's like a baby's blanket. It is super soft. And this hat, I bet it's super warm. I had two of these. I've sold mm -hmm. one. So I have this one left. I love the color too. I do too. But if there's no interest in that, we'll pass. And the next item is going to start at 12. Oh, I see Roxana. Well, we can count for Roxana. Okay. We'll count it down for Roxana. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Roxana. This one's going to start at 12. These are seat covers, and they do have the ties if you wish to tie them to the back of the chair. I love the size and the colors. Now, I don't know the maker of these. Amazing. But there are four total. I've had to keep them covered up. I don't want cat hair to get on them. 
there are four total. And I'll measure them so that you know the size you need for your chair. But I have some on my chair and I love them. It's more comfortable to sit in. It's really stylish too. Hi, Angela. Why are you in bed? Just being lazy? We got a compliment, compliment on your pen. 15 inches. And then you've got the strings just to tie, you know, a bow around the um, back of the chair. But you've got white, a sage green, a cream color, and then the burgundy. And they're 15 inches. I want to never highlight it. And they're $12 for the set of four. Uh, it was 12. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't highlight. It was, oh. it's 12, but I see Roxana at 12. And Noelle's at 14. Thanks, ladies. My husband even likes my pen. He said, did you make that? I said, would you believe me if I had? <laughs> no. That's, that's what Rick would say to you. <laughs> I haven't crafted it in so long. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see your out, Roxana. I think it just came through. I will count down for her. Thanks, Kat. Of course. Congrats, Noelle. Thanks, Noelle. Those are cool. And thank you, Roxana. And that was my third. Okay. I don't have three candles up here, so I apologize. I have this brass candelabra. This is going to start at 14, Sabrina. It's amazing. Um, this is vintage, made in India. Just a great piece. I'm sorry I don't have the third candle up here, but you get the idea. Um, it's got a really nice patina on it. Is it marked? I don't think it's marked, but it's a great piece. You sure can, Noel. Thank you. Oh, cool, Noel. I'm so glad you got that. I knew that was going to happen. Thanks, Noelle. I have to twist these to make them tighter. Vanessa's oh, at 14. Thank you, V. It's amazing. Um, I can measure it. Hi, Joyce. Hello, Joyce. It's good to see you. This is... Seven and no, eight inches tall and eight inches wide. We can count down for Miss V, Vanessa. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Vanessa. Okay. All right, here's another item that I did see yesterday, but I wanted to show it again. Um, this is going to start at 12. I have this amazing shell planter. It's I'm amazing. sorry, 12? Yes, ma'am. Oh, you're welcome, V. Thank you. I don't know, Al. Not that I'm getting rid of. I'm sorry. Um, this is USA Pottery. And... Here is the bottom. 
there's no damage on this piece anywhere. The inside looks really good. Perfect for your beach vibes or in your bathroom. This will work great with the a succulent in it too. It is eight inches long. Five inches tall. Or succulents, I guess. Yeah, it, it probably did, Thomas. <laughs> I still don't know what happened to that doll. So it's just disappeared. I love shells. They're so elegant. Mm -hmm. You know, the lines are just so pretty. Okay. We're going to put succulents in there, faux succulents, frozen charlottes, stick it yeah. out. <laughs> More shells or other yeah. shells? The shells. Yeah. Okay. We'll pass on that one. A little mermaid coming out of it would be cute. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute. Okay, y'all, this is so cute. This is going to start at 12. <laughs> I'm going to give you all a deal. So I have um, this Bible. This is from the 70s. It's from 1974. Um, it is for children, I think. Um, I think it is absolutely precious. It has illustrations such as this in here. Look at the 70s art. All these amazing animals. Um, it was presented by Harold Kennard Davies to his daughter, Missy, November 4th of 1974. But throughout are all sorts of illustrations. I'm trying to find one. That's cool. Isn't it cool? I, I've never seen this uh, exact Bible before. Um, all the pages are in good condition. You know, it's older. It has maps. It tells you, like, the history of um, the areas that are talked about in the Bible. You know, like the world history. Um, where are the maps? Maps back here, just a fun book. I was going to show it last night and I forgot, but this is what drew me in the, the animals. I would buy that if this, if this was a print, I would totally buy that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that was my third. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Um, for a $7 start, I have a plate. It is hand-painted, and it also has um, a plate holder on it or a plate hanger, a metal one, which I can keep on or take off. And the bird on it is a Golden Harvest. It's Fine China, Japan. Oops, I've got it upside down. Aww. It is not chipped or anything where the plate hanger is. It has rubber pieces, clear rubber pieces where the hanger is. But it is a hand painted bird. And it's so pretty. Here is the bottom. And it's also signed Gold Finch and then the painter's signature G 
Hmm. I can't make out her signature. It is super small. It says G. Anna. Gracie. G. Anna Gracie. Right. That's his gold finch. And where is the signature at? Right here. That's her signature. So it is super tiny. And I'll just measure it. And if there's still no answers, we'll pass. It is six and a quarter inches. But we'll pass on that, but leave that start up because okay. I have two more plates and these are going to be choice. Just remember, these are choice. These are also um, flower plates. And these are both going to be Haviland France Limoges. Now, this one has a hanger on it. Beautiful. And it has the plastic hanger here as well. It's got these beautiful roses and it's got this gold detail. This is a little larger. This one is seven and a half. Your second choice is almost nine. And it is also Haviland France. And it's this one. And this one's almost nine. It's just past eight and three quarters. And it's got the gold trim as well. And these are just beautiful plates. This one does not have the hanger. But I do have a plate stand that I could send with it if you would want a plate stand. Cottage core is still a thing. A lot of people are still. Yeah. Um, they're making gallery walls with them. Mm -hmm. And I love hand painted plates. Um, Vanessa's in. We can count it down for Vanessa. Okay. Just one second. The oh, dog. It. Oh, thank you, Sabrina. Dexter keeps knocking everything over. No problem. Okay. So to Vanessa, congratulations. And just uh, let me know if you want the smaller one or the larger one. I'm guessing. I wonder if I'm right. Bigger. Bigger one. Okay, you've got it. I was and if wrong. Wants the smaller one or the bird one, just let me know in the chat. Um, let me write this down, Vanessa. If I don't write it down now, I tend to forget and I have to go back and um, watch it because I forget to put something down. And then, Noel, I don't know if you're interested in this or anyone else, but this is going to be a $10 start just because of what I paid for it. It's a wine bottle stopper. And it looks great. Um, I was going to put it in the, get that down. I was going to put it in the, the cat bottle if I kept it. But I'll show you what it looks like. Um, do you guys remember the vintage legs? Like there was a lamp. Oh, yeah. From um, 
Christmas story. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so in a wine bottle, this is what it looks yeah. like. This is the only empty bottle of wine I have right here. Oh, I lost a feather. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. Hi, Lena. Hey, Lena. I was wondering where you were. But if anyone is interested in that, it is $10. <laughs> and it's so fun. Look at her <laughs> legs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can pass on that and go back over to Kat. Okay. Oh, thank you, Vanessa and Apple and everybody else who always tells everyone to do a thumbs up because we forget. Uh, this starts at 10, Sabrina. I have this uh, crystal trinket dish with this little bird. Um, this is so good. I know they're so good. This is it's Hofbauer. Um, nice crystal. I know. I love these. Didn't you have one of these recently too? Um, I do have a different real recent, but it was a okay. couple of months ago. I did. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've sold one of these before. I love them. I love the little beak. He's so cute. He's just singing away. <laughs> Noel. <laughs> Angela in the bottom. Thomas, she's going to kill you. She's going to beat you. Okay, so it is about four inches tall with the lid on. Hi, Julia. Cat, I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, these pieces are so good, like Sabrina said. I love this crystal. And I love the bird. Let me let me push some paper behind him. Hope you're doing well, Julia. Get it close so you can see his detailed face. He is just so cute. That's such a good price for those. Thank you. Or for that, rather. Here is the bottom. I don't think I showed the bottom. But it's it's so cute. You could put a little light in here if you wanted to. I guess I could do that really fast. But I would put jewelry in it personally. But it is cute. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, you can't see it. Can you? I don't know. Okay. We'll pass on him. Then my next piece is going to start at 12, Sabrina. I've shown it before, and I'm going to lower the price. Um, I have this uh, mid-century decanter. It is amber glass. And it's fantastic. I love the shape. I love the stopper. This one does not glow. I have checked it before. Isn't he pretty, V? This measures five inches tall. Five by almost four. <laughs> I know. I know, Apple. I know. Let me show you. It has um, the original stopper here. No, no damage on this piece. No, no liquor in it, unfortunately. But I love this this diamond pointy pattern. Um, it's like a reverse diamond point. It's it's not sharp, but it's so pretty. It really reflects the light. Yeah, or a beautiful bottle, absolutely. Yeah, you could put you could put perfume in this. Um, sand lights. It's really pretty. Small shells. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hey, Mike. Hi, Mike. How are you? A countdown for Mr. Mike. Thank oh, you so I was much. just dropping your link. Give me one second. Oh, okay. Here, let me do this and then I can finish dropping your link. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And since you said that, I'm going to remind everyone that I'm changing my Thursday solo sale. Um, and I put a poll up on my community page. So if you can take a second and let me know what day you prefer, that would be awesome. Thank you, Mike. Okay. That was my second. My third. What is my third? I just saw it. Um, Y'all, I'm losing my mind. I thought I had it right here. But that's okay. I can show this. Um, I have... So I bought this from the artist that made this. Or actually, her mom made this. This is going to start at 15. Um, which I believe is... But it may be a little bit less than what I paid. Um, it's amazing. So this... This is a wine stopper as well. Uh -huh. It's this mouse and she is adorable. So she has a pearl necklace. That's so cute. I know. It's, it's pain. So earrings. I know. She's got little earrings. Um, she makes all sorts of critters and I'm eventually going to have a booth there. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys more of her items. Um, but it's, she just does such a fantastic job. I just love it. A lot of the items she uses are vintage and antique as well. I didn't ask specifically about this piece, so I don't know. Oh my gosh, Mike, you did. You bought it yesterday. I am so sorry, my friend. <laughs> this is what I get for having sales two days in a row. My brain is just fried. I'm so sorry, Mike. Three days in a row. Three days in a row. Yeah, you totally bought it. I was running around. I, I don't know if I've ever done that before. I'm so amazed. It happens. I know, but yeah, I was running around so much today. I, when something sells, I put it on my shelf right here, and I normally move it into the room where I ship, and I haven't had a chance to do that today. <laughs> no, I didn't have to. We're glad you came in, Mike. <laughs> yeah. I would have realized it after the sale when I pulled everything. How embarrassing. Okay. That is super cute. No, oh, isn't she cute, y'all? I love her little nose. I'm hard on myself naturally, Mike, so I'm going to like wake up in the middle of the night. Like, how did I do that? Okay. This is my third brie, so we'll go back to you. Okay. I have a $20 start, and this, I believe, is a candy dish. It's an Indiana Amber Carnival glass, and this is the Harvest Grape pattern. And Brie, is, what was the starting bid? I'm so sorry. Um, you just 20, said it. And, Noel wanted something for 15. Oh, okay. You got it. She wants the mouse. Oh, that's great. Isn't it cute? Thank you, Noel. This is the Harvest Great pattern, and it is gorgeous. There's no chips, no cracks, no flea bites, nothing. But it does have a little bit of weight to it. And I love how it's paneled and you can see how the inside is perfectly round and the outside is paneled. You can see it on the outside here. Here's the bottom. Thank you, Mike. It's beautiful. And it just shines. And I'll take measurements 
real quick and then we will count it down. Now I'm putting the lid on it to take the measurement. What did I do? It's always right in front of me. Of course. And it is still. <laughs> I love when you get a phone call and it shows up potential spam. Oh, yeah. So with the lid on it and the little finial, it's just a hair over eight inches tall. And it is four and a half inches wide. And we can count this down for Mike. Okay. Mike, are you off for the holiday or are you working? I'm nosy. You'll find that out about me, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> At works. Aw. I understand. Thanks so much, Mike. I have a butterfly trinket. It is from Japan, and I'm starting this at eight dollars. And look at the pretty flowers and butterflies. And I like that it's in the shape of a fan. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It does have a sticker on the back. This says Japan. Here's the inside. Oh, you do, Bonnie? That's oh. great. Now, the back says, produced exclu exclusively for Avon products, handcrafted porcelain, 1980. Made in Japan. So it is vintage. It has no chips or cracks. I love the flowers and butterflies on it. And this is about five inches long by one and three quarters tall. Me too, Mike. It's oh. so underrated. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Bonnie, you always take care of us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if there's no interest on that for eight, we'll pass. And I have a choice between two wallets, and they're going to start at seven. One is, I think, 31. Yes, 31. And one is... Um, Vera Bradley. So this is the 31. It has two zipper pockets on the front. It is gray with brown lining or liner. This is the inside. It is all brown on the inside. You have your card slots here. You have a spot here for your pen. You have a zipper pocket here. You have a pouch behind that zipper pocket and it says 31. You have a zipper pocket on the opposite side or a pouch, I mean, and then another zipper pocket, all the zippers are fully functional. Then you have your ID slot with the hole. And then you have this little pouch here to put a checkbook or a notepad. And then this button's in the center. 
and it says 31 on all the zipper pulls. And this is seven and a half by five. Your second choice is a Vera Bradley. Beautiful colors. It's beautiful. It is magnetic, one on each end. There's your Vera Bradley. And then it opens up with all these little pouches, your ID slot, all of your card slots are here. Hi, Jessica. Um, Hi, Jess. Your pocket there. You have a zipper pocket there, a little button pouch there. A larger pouch there. You have your key clip here. And then it folds up to a magnetic closing closure. This is eight and three quarters by four. The colors on that are amazing. Love yeah. it. All right, those are the two choices for seven. And my third item. There you go, Cal. Mike is in at seven. Oh, I, I didn't see you, Mike. It we just will count it down for you. And you can let me know which one or ones you would like. Thank Congrats. you so much. Okay, my next item is going to start at 12, Sabrina. Okay. Um, I have this amazing antique plate. This is from, oh my gosh, I thought it had the year. It's from the, the 1910s. Um, Thank you, Mike. It is gorgeous. So you have this lady, this very risque pose, sitting here showing her stockings um, on a dock. This is, it's a transfer piece. Even the trim is transferred, just so you know. But these were giveaways if you bought a piece of furniture at Lawrence Furniture Company, which I think is just amazing. There is no damage to the plate. However, right here where it was transferred, it looks like there's a little bit of a smudge. So when they made this plate, there is like this little ridge right there. But it was just part of the manufacturing. I love this so much. I think she's so cool. I would hang her personally. Mm -hmm. She's eight and a quarter inches in diameter. She's just fabulous. Gibson girl. Yeah, isn't she cool? Yeah, she's got her, her skirt pulled up. There is absolutely nothing on the back. I'll I'll be a minute, but I'll be right back, Kat. Okay, no problem. I love her. But we're gonna pass on her for now. Okay. My next item is going to start at 12 as well. So we'll just keep that up there. I have this uh, vintage artisan made brass bracelet. <laughs> Troy. <laughs> oh, I love this. I have not polished it. I love patina. So I kept it on here. Um, you can see where it's hammered and shaped. It's got a, I think, a really cool shape. It's not signed. I tried to research this. I, you know, I couldn't find out who the exact maker is. Um, it's it's pretty wide. However, it is, you know, pliable enough to where you could probably get it to, to fit you perfectly. But let me measure um, the width of it. So it is three inches wide. 
Thanks, Cass. I love brass and copper. I don't know if you can see the, the little notches in it. <clears throat> it's a really cool piece. Let me put it on my magic hand. I'm sorry, Apple. Oh, thank you. I will go ahead and count down for you, my dear. Thomas. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, cool. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Apple. I jot you down. So we'll take. Apple. I love that too. Congratulations. Cool. Thank you so much. Okay. My third item is another piece of jewelry. This is uh, a Damascene piece. Um, I have another Damascene trombone pin. This is $14, Sabrina. And it's another fan. I sold one recently. I think it was to Yvonne. Um, but this one has a bird on it as well. Just a gorgeous piece. It is gorgeous. This one is a little smaller. Let me measure it. It is one and a half inches. Thank you, Jessica. Oh, yeah, Jessica. I saw where you said you, you shared out. Thank you. You're so great to do that for everybody. Let me put this on here. Bear with me. I absolutely love this jewelry. I just can't collect everything. Um, but here is the back. Like I said, it has a trombone clasp, but these are really well made. I don't remember if this one is Mark Spain or not. I don't see a marking, but it's just beautiful. Okay, Brie, and that is my last item. All right. Let me slide us over and do my last three. Now, these last three are all willow tree items. Um, so it's either your thing or your not thing. <laughs> um, and they are more pricey because of what I have to pay for them. Um, let me see which one is first. Uh, two alike. This starts at 20 and it's two of them. They are attached and I believe, yes, I do have the box for this one. So if you wanted to gift these, they're great for gifting. There's no condition issues with these. Sometimes you find that their hands have been broken off and repaired. Mm -hmm. But they're in great condition. They're marked twice, one on the bottom and one on the side. And this one is from 2004. Are they sisters? Oh, they're twins, huh? No, this one um, this one can be twins. It can be two alike. It could be two best friends. It could be cousins. And it's also marked here. Now, there are some knockoffs of these, but you can tell the difference. Um, and they are not marked on the side. I love how they're holding hands or their hands are touching. It's so sweet. I know. And they are about five and a half inches tall. Yeah. 
and they're so expensive in the stores. Mm -hmm. I, I have my own collection of willow tree, but I've never bought one in the regular stores. But we can pass on that one. Thanks for coming, Jessica. Bye, the Jessica. One starts at 18. Hi, Geneva. <laughs> That's true. And she is <laughs> almost nine inches. Almost, not quite. And she is holding this little oh. baby. This one is called Angel of Mine, and it's from 19, nope, 2003. That's perfect for Mother's Day. Yeah, Mike. How are you, Geneva? And none of these um, have any condition issues. Yeah, it is great for Mother's Day. Or someone who's getting ready to have a child. Mm -hmm. Or just had one. All right, we'll pass on that. And the last one, this one um, is the set of sisters. And this one starts at 22. They are sisters by heart. They are from year 2000. You get two different uh, sisters. She is praying. And this sister's hands are open. And then measure them real quick, about five and three quarter inches tall. And then when you put them together, they stand like that. The one sister's hands go in the center of the other one. Oh, that's great, Thomas. It is. So they go like that. So you get both of them for 22. All right, we'll pass on those. And they were our last items. We were fast today, guys. Yeah. Now we don't have add-ons today. Um, let me pull us both up. Yeah. Do you guys want to recap? But if you want to recap, um, we can go over the unsold items. Mm -hmm. Just let us know if anyone would like a recap. Thomas, I'm so happy for you and Sue. That makes me very happy. Yes. Bonnie would like one. Okay, let me pull Cat up. Okay. And I'm going to okay. drop the link again. So Thank if you're you. not subscribed, just um, click on her link and subscribe to her channel. And make sure that you type on the, check on the click. I'll get the word right here in a second. Click on the bell to all. Thank you so much, Sabrina. You know what? We forgot to stream it again. I know. Um, so I have a set of these four Ellie Smith glasses. They're fantastic. Um, they're all in excellent condition. Um, they are a basket weave pattern. And they're $16 for the set of four, uh, number one. So you just type in number one if you're interested in the set of four. I'm not going to show each one. But beautiful glasses. I love the bottom. I love the basket weave on the bottom. I do too. Okay. These are going to be 
out of order. I know nobody cares. Um, I I like those. Oh, thank you, Mike. You got it. Those are fantastic. I appreciate it. Okay. This is a Royal Copley uh, vase. Can't talk today. It is marked Royal Copley here on the bottom. Now, there is some crazing on this piece. You can actually see it there. Uh, but this is, you know, an older piece for sure. This is $18, number six. If anyone is interested, these beautiful koi fish. Now, this is a taller vase. It is... Uh, eight and a quarter inches tall. They're beautiful, Mike. I was going to keep them. <laughs> Don't have any more room. Um, $18, number six for this one. Then I have the, the brass candle holder. Um, where's my candle? It has cherubs um, around the sides. I think this is Italian. This one is $12, number three, if anyone is interested. It's just the single uh, candle holder. That's beautiful. Thanks. It's a great piece. Okay. And I have the shell. Um, this is USA Pottery. And it is, oh, I'm glad you're going to use them. That's awesome. Uh, $12, number 14. It's an amazing piece, too. I've said amazing a lot today. Sorry, guys. Okay. <clears throat> you know how you feel yourself being repetitive? That's what I feel right now. Okay. Um, I have this adorable unicorn trinket box. This was $15 uh, number 10. If anyone I, is I can't remember what that's made out of. I know. I, I don't. It's not marked Inkalay Stone. So I don't that's know. That's what it looks like. I know. It looks like it, but I don't know. And when I looked it up, it was saying natural stone, but. Inkalay is not normally all natural, so I'm not sure. Um, where was I? $15, number 10 for this. It's adorable. Oh, then I have Mr. Pig. Um, this art glass pig is $15, number two. He looks like a melon. He does. He's so cute. This is mid-century. Oh, I can't stop yawning. I'm so tired. $15, number two. Oh, then I have this um, really pretty pink depression glass. This one is $8, number five. I think this is Cambridge glass. Pretty sure. Satin glass, hand-painted. Really pretty. Um, Bonnie put in eight and five. I don't know what that means. Oh, no! she wants that little pink depression glass. Oh, number eight for five. Uh, I don't know. But if you know, that's great. I do. It's eight dollars. Number five. Thank okay. you, Bonnie. Thank you so much. Noel, so are you. Um, then I have this piece of uh, signed pottery. Oh, thanks, Noelle. This is vintage, and the artist is Stephen K. This is $24, number eight. Uh, this artist is from New Mexico. That piece is great. Thank you. I love it, too. Okay. Hide your cash in that. You could. <laughs> I know what Troy would hide in it. Okay. That's true. What else? What else? That it. That may be it. 
Oh, the little horse head. This is $5, number 11, if anyone is interested in him. It's a single shaker. Just cute. The little holes are up there. He is made in Japan. $5, number 11. Thanks, Bonnie. Oh, thanks, Kaz. Oh, thank you, Kaz. You got it. Let me just double check you. Oh, the Bible. Where's the Bible? Um, this Bible is $12, and it is number 15. It's from 1974. Um, it has some amazing illustrations in it. Just what drew me to it. Those animals uh, are in here. $12, number 15. I have this, which I just showed, but it's right here. This is $12, number 20, this Gibson Girl plate, antique plate. It was a, a furniture company giveaway from Kansas. Yeah, well, Lawrence, I think it's Kansas. Um, twelve dollars number twenty on this one. Bonnie, I just saw what you said. You're so sweet. I love selling with Sabrina. And I love selling with you. We may have some news coming up soon. I hope. Mm -hmm. Then the last thing I just showed it. Where did it go? The Damascene fan. Oh, it's because it's still on the stand. Um, this is $14, number 21. I knew that was going to happen as soon as I did. <laughs> It's like, that's not going to balance. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's one and a half inches. It has a trombone clasp that just came undone. But there it is. And that is it, Sabrina. All right. Thanks, everybody. I will show my unsold items really quick. I have the signed stoneware vase that is totally uh, glazed inside. <laughs> Thanks, Noel. We appreciate oh, that. You're making me boo. It's $10, number one. $10 number one. I have the jewelry box. Silver plate jewelry box that can be engraved. And it's got the red velvet inside. This is $14 number two. $14 number two. I have the Cross stitch pitchers. These are six dollars a piece. Number three. You've got the lady in the tub with bubbles. And you've got the little man in the bathtub <laughs> with some bubbles. And these are in wood frames with glass. There's his hat by six. Sorry, Sabrina. I just had to comment on his hat again because that hat is so cute. <laughs> um, the shirts. Let me get those. Let me see where I put them. They're sweaters, actually. Um, the purple one. I can do $8 on these. This is the purple one, new with tags. It buttons up with purple buttons. It's darker at the bottom, gets lighter at the top. It's an extra large and it is by M Collections. And the number for that is 
eight. So I can do eight dollars, um, number eight. Or you can do the blue one that does not have buttons. It's also an extra large and it's thinner. And it's by Karen Scott. So this one's $8 as well. And just let me know if you want the purple or the blue. They're number eight. They're both extra large. I have the laptop bag. Me too, Kaz. Um, make sure I don't have this strap hooked on a piece of glass. Okay, the laptop bag is a Vera Bradley. And it does fit a large laptop. I won't go over all the pockets or anything. I'm just, if you want to see it, let me know. But all the zippers work. It has an adjustable strap with a little rubber or plastic shoulder piece. <clears throat> it's clean, no stains, no holes or tears. And this is $12, number nine. If you want measurements or to see more of it, just let me know. I have the CC boot sweaters. Uh, it's $5, number 10. Um, Mike would like number nine. Number nine. The laptop bag. Oh, thank you. Congrats. You'll like that, Mike. Um, the bird plate is hand painted. It does have the wire hanger on it. And it is a golden, called Golden Harvest, fine china in Japan. And these are golden pheasants. And it is signed by the artist right there. But it is really tiny. And this is $7, number 13. And then I have one more flower plate made by Havlin France Limoges. It does have a metal hanger on it. They have not damaged the plate at all. And this is $7, number 14. It's a little bit larger. And I, oh, the butterfly trinket, and I'm not going to go over the, the willow trees again. I just showed those. The butterfly trinket, no chips or cracks. This is $8, number 17. $8, number 17. Thank you all. And that was all of my items. And I'll pull us both up. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Oh, thanks for being on with me. I always enjoy the time with you. What do you have coming up next? Uh, you on Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> well, um, same here. But before that, I'm on Sunday on Leanne's channel, Crafty Kitty Vintage. And we will be having our Sunday sale with Kathy, the Castle Cat, at 9 p.m. Eastern. So thank you all for being here and hope to see you all Sunday. Yeah. Happy Easter, everyone. Yes. Happy Easter. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. Thank and you. Thank you, for, thank you all for being here. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you, Vanessa. Bye, V. Bye, Bonnie.